Hi there, and welcome to the Rangers News YouTube channel. It's Jordan Corral here alongside Cami Willis. Uh, I just want to say thanks very much for all of you who have subscribed so far. We nearly doubled our subscriptions uh, over the last week, so that's going really well, and, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll still be producing some more content in the weeks to come. Uh, so the first thing we want to touch upon is uh, a Youth Cup mauling uh, at Broadwood on Sunday. So uh, the young jurors beat Celtic 5-0. Uh, and what was a uh, what was a repeat of last year's final? Um, I just want to ask: is is this a sign of things to come? Um, hopefully, I mean, the young team are playing with so much confidence at the minute. Like uh, they beat the really confidence Solihull Moors in the, the Tunnex Cup. Um, they've got a lead against is it Slovan Bratislava yeah. in the youth yeah. league. I mean, there's there's certain names that continuously keep popping up, um, like Nathan Young Combs. Uh, obviously, Dapple Boots had his debut um, yep. I don't know how, how long it's going to be before he kind of really breaks through into the team obviously this competition in the first team but um, and then obviously Leon King as well who scored the opener yesterday yep. I think he's only 15 yeah and, and he's, he's the one people are touting him yeah. for Liverpool Chelsea this sort of stuff I've I mean, been interested I, I, in have you also considered the fact that Billy Gilmore, I know like kind of Rangers fans are kind of split on hearing about Billy Gilmore all the time. Some yeah, people yeah. kind of uh, enjoy it as one of their own, others are like, what's he got to do with Rangers now? But I mean, if you, imagine you also had them, and that is such a kind of, that's a, that's a young squad full of so much talent. Um, and then you think towards the future, I mean, they've absolutely dismantled Celtic, who's had, if you consider where Rangers have come from, how much investment's been in Celtic's academy, etc., over the last few years compared to ours. And then for us to have such a like kind of vibrant and positive youth team is a credit to the people um, running it. I think the coach is David McCallum. Dave, Dave McCallum's the coach of that team, uh, Graham Murray mm -hmm. and Lovin Crowns are with the Colts, who are, are obviously doing well in the, in the youth competition. I mm -hmm. think another name's probably Kai Kennedy. Yeah. that people will probably have heard of. I think he's been sort of starring across all those levels and, and he played, it was at Scotland 19s, beat um, Germany in the last international break. Josh McPake scored in yeah, that as well. Yeah, You know, yeah. so with some serious, serious talent there, I think it's... So how, how do you get them into the team, though? This is the question, because, I mean, if you look at... I mean, don't talk too much about Celtic, but if you look at Celtic, in particular, they've obviously had James Forrest, Callum McGregor, and Kieran Tierney, who went for £25 million. Went, I mean, Alan Hutton aside, who I think went for £9 million to Tottenham, um, when's it going to be that Rangers produce an, an international talent um, that, that is a fixture in our side, maybe for his entire career, or to the point where we get like such such high amounts of money for them? I mean... What, what what do you think's the answer? I, I think I think it's hard. I think the model at the minute is you know the guys will come up through the age group level, get stuck in at reserves and that sort of stuff, find a bit of success, then head out on loan. But the problem is that not enough guys are going out and doing well and then coming back. So you've got well, I think Ross McCrory is the flagship player mm -hmm. who was in the team last year, played twenty five games or something for the first team last season. The Jenners touted him as a future Rangers captain as well, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, no, he, yeah. So he said that he was you know, comfortable coming out and saying that and then it just hasn't really tallied up that, you know, we brought in other players like Aribo and, you know, we had Kamara in January and guys and Davis in January, three other midfielders who then move him down the pecking order and then and then he's moved away on loan and is having a bit of a, a tough time down at, at Portsmouth. I, th I think it's hard to envisage how you get through. Oh, well, on the other side of that, I mean, Dockery went down, I know he's not our academy player, but he went down and had a good spell with at Shrewsbury. Uh, at Shrewsbury. Oh, Shrewsbury. So, and then he's came back up and hasn't been able to compete in the squad, so it's a difficult kind of barometer. Well, it's still, I think at the minute, the problem is that like there's such a demand for immediate success, that people want to win mm -hmm. stuff, and that's why you bring your Davises in, your, your McGregors back, and keeping the likes of Robbie McCrory and stuff from, from coming into the first team. So it's whether we can get to a stage where we start winning stuff to then use different competitions like the League Cup and the early rounds of that or the early rounds of the Scottish Cup where you're confident enough and secure enough in, in what you have mm -hmm. in the cabinet and that sort of stuff to start throwing these young guys in. But there are, you're right, there's a lot of, there's guys like Ryan Hardy and Andy, Andy Dallas and stuff who've scored goals for the club at youth level and have then went on loan and drifted out of the picture and then left for small fees and that sort of stuff. So it's about stepping that up. I think with the, with these guys, they're just that little bit younger. And I think that if because obviously they took them out of the development league, um, they, they did their own kind of run the friendlies and stuff. I remember the people that, like the Bayern Munich, Manchester United yeah. and stuff. But 
I, the idea is that maybe three or four years' time, these players all come through at the same time, and Rangers, for maybe the first time in a long time, have like a golden generation of talent, um, which is an exciting prospect. Could you potentially see Rangers having like an Ajax 2.0? Well, I tell you what, that would be it'd be pretty dreamy, and I think no one like fans love a big money signing who comes in and that sort of stuff, but no one would love something more than someone who's come up through mm -hmm. the system, even if it is, so say your young Coombs who's come from Chelsea, but he's coming when he's sixteen, and mm -hmm. you know he's learning his trade and he's learning he's learning his football really at Rangers. If we can get those sorts of guys to come through and start making an impact in the team, that would be brilliant going forward. I, I, uh, it's an exciting time for the academy, and hopefully the success continues and they, I think they won four trophies in total last year if you include the reserve league so yeah hopefully it continues. Okay.